Hi everybody, it's the asshole. Okay, the old hat's gone, lost it to fire, get over it. Anyway, today we're going to talk about social deviance. As we have to address this situation as we being social entities inside of a large societal uh, matri matriarch and matriarch uh, matricy. That's the word I want. Shut up. <laughs> uh, and the tightest knit segment in this entire matrix is the family. So we bring up Thanksgiving when everyone's supposed to get together and stuff their faces with food like I do every day. <laughs> You're, you're, you bring up the topic of addressing homosexuality among your family members and gay marriage and all this other stuff, but there's nothing to bring up. If you're saying, if you're saying oh, Jesus wants uh, marriage between to be man and a woman because it's the only union that will bear life. Well, uh, hey, did you know we found a way to create babies without penises? Oh, we figured that out 20 years ago, I think. Yo, yeah. You don't need a man or a woman to create a life. You simply need a gene sample. We know what that is, ladies and gentlemen, but I'll spare you the degrees of details. And the, and the prepared egg. <laughs> Not chickens. Figure it out. And uh, the right cultivation process, the right amount of incubation time, and a host inserted into. It has to be female. We're working on this. This is as fast as we can go. The dumb monkeys we are. You know, but back to the topic of bigotry and homosexual marriage. Marriage in the Bible is defined as a union between a man and a woman. But we outgrew the Bible like 200 years ago. It's old news now. We're done. And the Christian right is interpreting the wrong book. The, first te the, new the Old Testament is the book of the Jews, not yours. So get over it. Two. I, I honestly believe that if we would let go and open our minds for a little bit, just like, um, that guy's kissing another guy. Oh. Instead of that guy's kissing another guy, get the torches! We gotta burn their houses down! We'd move forward at a much higher pace, adopting more controversial sweeping societal changes such as the drift from capitalism to socialism. Now, I don't want to start that whole capitalism is good. Yeah, look what capitalism has done for our country, America by the way, even though you'll always hear me say google.ca but uh easier to type and I'm lazy. Uh, back to the topic is, is it, I forgot the topic son of a bitch. Oh yeah, societal pressures and sweeping laws coming through from us opening our minds a little bit. If we would just relax a little bit and realize that we are still evolving, every child is 100 mutations, 100 mutations, sometimes up to 160 mutations from the mother and father host gene. No one person is even close to being a fucking snowflake close to anybody else. Homosexuality is a societal thing. It's it's what we're going to do. You know, if you're gay, then you're going to go bang a guy in the ass or get head from a girl. That's your thing. And who is, a, who is religion to say that it's not? That it's not acceptable when it's been happening outside of religion for tens of thousands, if not the entire 150 million years we've been here, you know? been here a long time religions only been here 1600 years tops because 0 BC there was really no heavily recorded stuff the Bible was written 400 years after the events were supposed to have taken place you've proven this okay not so much proven as in disproven most of the claims that it was written around 10 BC or 10 AD I'm sorry um, it was written and constantly re-edited up from uh, 175 to like 400 AD. Uh, and at the point, the people that were there were wearing food! 
So you really can't go and say, hey guys, it's uh, this is what they said. How do you know? Uh, I scried it with my penis. You know, so we have to move past that. We have to move forward. And reinforcing the Christian right to say gay is not okay by making stupid shit like this is only putting a few more furries in the fire. Yes, I hate furries. But I'll cover that later. Because it's not a typical hate. I just hate things that take themselves too serious. Like religion. But, uh... Other than that, uh, Thanksgiving was th two days ago. Um, I'm still eating turkey. You can tell. <laughs> um, short of it is, if you think you need to do say, to need to say something about confronting homosexual marriage, then you don't really need to say anything at all because if your response is either it's okay. Or it's not okay. And, as in all societal situations, and hell, all situations in life, good and bad are points of perspective. If you're gay and you're, you're saying someone is oppressing you by saying you shouldn't be able to marry, come up with a new word. Oh, we're not married. We're entrenched. I like that. <laughs> Defeat the system. Go around the system. Gay marriage can't get past it. Fuck. Entrenched. You still win. And you get an awesome word. Fuck the Christian right. Fuck them in the mouth with a hand grenade. Thinking that they're so important about their Jesus this, Jesus that. This has gone on long enough. I'll be back. <laughs>